the families of Atetoni, we appreciate you. Please let's clear the floor. Let's let us let's clear the floor. We want to create passage here. Please let's clear the floor. Thank you, all our celebrity musicians. Thank you. God bless you all. I can see Evangelist Brian to Como say, God bless you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please right about now we want to receive the vision Piera for the first speech that we're going to be taking right about now. Please, I want some decorum here. Let's observe decorum so we can listen and hear ourselves. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, at this point in time, without wasting time, I've been told by the vision bearer that there is no point wasting time. Everything should be done snappy. Please, may we jam our hands together as we receive our very own esteemed mother, Evangelist Naomi A.K. for the opening speech. God bless you, mommy. You they ask me, you they ask me, you they ask. Please, if you are here for this event, take your seat now. The program has started. The man of God has declared it open. Please, I want all the committee members to come over here. My able chairman, the admin, evangelist, Nosa Blessy Ibinosa, come up on stage, please. Uh, Mr. Kennedy Iyamu, my own indefatigable chairman, Operation Complete, Mama Vero Adedo in's house. Let's welcome him with a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Mr. Kennedy Iyamu. I call him the indefatigable chairman of Operation Complete, Mama Vero Adedo in's house. Following him side by side is our own brother, mm. Mr. Kennedy uh, Iyobo Oriaki, aka Ereway One of Operation Complete Mama Veros House. Please join me up here, put your hands together for everyone. You are all special. If you are special, clap your hands for yourself. And I think of all the things you have done. My imagination has come to reality. Oh my God, oh, you do this one. Oh, oh, oh you do this one. Oh, oh my God, oh, you do this one. Oh, oh, oh you do this one. Oh. Indeed, it is the Lord's doing. Please, this is the purpose why you are here. Can you give us some five minutes of quiet so that you will hear the true story of what you are celebrating today? Ladies and gentlemen, a speech delivered by Evangelist Mrs. Naomi Aguirre, Vision Biera, Operation Complete, Mama Vero Adedo in house on the occasion of the opening of Iwinosa Villa and the dedication of a brand new Toyota Corolla car to the glory of God today the 19th day of March 2024 Mr. Chairman sir all pastors and ministers here present the Odeon Were of Utaban Quarters the Adedoins all distinguished invited guests friends and well wishers ladies and gentlemen it is with great joy in my heart that I welcome you all to this great occasion of the grand opening ceremony of Mama Adedoin's house, aka Iwinosa Villa. Sometimes in 2021, the Lord gave me a revelation that it was time to help Sister Bero Adedoin. The next day, I swung into action by calling on some of my colleagues, shared the revelation, and we immediately swung into action, put our resources together, and did her first personal album for her, titled, O Safia Yawerie Jakeno Mame. If you were a part of that testimony, can you shout hallelujah? We went further to organize a launching for her, 
the proceed from the launching was given to her to complete this house. But it was not enough. It could only cover the first flat with zinc. And the wound on the other side was left uncovered. It was there till the first week of February 2024. Those who contributed to the album production, the first album that belonged to Sister Vero, because all the other albums she sang, they are not for her. They are all for marketers. So in 2021, these people I'm going to mention came together and we put our resources together and we did her own first album for her. So the only album that belongs to Savero out of the multitude is the one she did in 2021, titled Osafia Mame. Others belong to all marketers. Now those who contributed to the album production are if I call your name, just stand up and shout hallelujah. Evangelist Mrs. Uyi Omoe Stand up and shout hallelujah. Praise Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy Iyamu. Praise the Lord. Bright Okwomo say. Hallelujah. Evangelist Bless Inosa Ibunosa. Hallelujah. Mama Walter. Hallelujah. Mr. and Mrs. Pama Moruji. Evangelist Naomi again contributed their personal money to do the first album of the road of the day. Naomi again, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In February this year, precisely on the 5th of February, I called on my colleagues that we should come and complete this house. These four people standing here, my able chairman, myself, Brother Be Blessing Gnosa, evangelist, and Iyobe Lobito. We took it upon ourselves. We came here to spend our money. We didn't come here to ask anybody to help us. But unfortunately, when we got here, what we saw was bigger than us. Four of us were here, we were confused because this place was a forest. It was a thick bush. But thank God today, before you and I, stands a completed building with all the modern facilities to live in a modern house. Put your hands together for Jesus. Because the Bible says, if there be a willing heart, God will make a way. We came here to spend our money but the money we had was not enough and Jehovah decided to hijack the work from us there and there, outside there we stood you will see the pictures on the banner we stood, we told ourselves what are we going to do ladies and gentlemen we are here, we must do this work and the committee decided to do a live video lo and behold as we put this matter on air, immediately we stood, we got the sum of 350,000 hey, naira. And one of the first donors is in the house. Brother, Pastor, Amayo, wherever you are, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Yes. He was one of the first donors. We had 350,000, immediately we were standing. And before the next day, the money rose to 3.5 million. Oh, then we had hope. God did not allow us to be ashamed. We continued. Amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, when we saw that our resources was not enough, we appealed to the well meaning Nigerians at home and abroad. To God be the glory. Today, standing before you, is a completed edifice of a splendor, equipped with all the modern day facilities, completed by the sons and daughters of the great Benin kingdom. And the country at large. Somebody put your hands together for these people. Various groups came in, churches came in, individuals came in. Ladies and gentlemen, I, on behalf of the committee, present to you for commissioning in Winosa Villa, aka Mama Vero Adedoin's house. This house 
was completed in one month and 10 days. In one month and 10 days, this house was completed and we were able to buy a car for 6.5 million. After this dedication, Sister Vera Adedoyi will no longer enter a bike. She no longer hold from one keke to the other. So, she is now a landlady and a car owner. I present to you the dedication of Iwinosa Villa. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and may God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Right now, as I speak, the solar system is being installed. The men started today. By tomorrow, Sister Vera is going to have pure solar lights. Whether Nepa or no Nepa, she's going to have lights in this house. I thought somebody would jump up and shout hallelujah there. God made this woman to flourish in her times. When we started, the bag of cement was 5,500. And in five days, it jumped to 13,500. But work did not stop one day. It is indeed the Lord's tone. And it is marvelous in our sight. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Imino Savila. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Without wasting time, we are just going to hand over the microphone to the chairman of the completion committee. Our own indefatigable chairman, Mr. Kennedy Iyamu. Thank you, sir. Okay. God bless you, our Yaegbe. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. All protocol duly observed. Uh, this is a welcome speech by I.K. Yamu. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this great epoch-making event. Our purpose for coming here on this fifth, on this day, is that on the 5th of February, 2024, we were here just to give a little uh, a little help to this house that could be a kind of accommodating. We never intended to come here to turn it to what it is now because we knew that our power was not going to do that. When we came, we saw, like uh, Mama Havela said, and the only thing I could tell her is that my heart is beating fast. Sincerely, I didn't know where we were going to start from. That was the first thing I asked. I said, Mama, where are we going to start from? The wood on top of the house were rotting already. So there were, it's not possible for us to put the roofing sheet we thought we were going to fix on it again. All the wood needed to come down. And uh, all we could just raise at that very starting point was a 100,000 levy for each of us to come and fix the roof and probably cover the windows with wood, ask them to come in, beat on the floor so that the dust will not be too much on them. Just live where you are and be on your own. Let's start from there. That was the tension of coming here. But uh, like Mama said, before we even call for the help, the, you know, the Bible says that um, in the day of the Lord's power, the people will be willing. It was indeed, it is indeed, indeed the days of his power. Hallelujah. God seeing our hearts took the work from us and decided to call everyone and anyone that he could use. When we were during the update mentioning names of men and women do not donating, we called the Denise, we called the Robo, we called the Igbo, we called the Yoruba. We even caught some tribes that we were thinking if they were Nigerians or not. It was a case of God opening the heavens and pouring down his blessings. Hallelujah. I want to use this medium to appreciate the great and ever supportive member of this operation, complete Mama Vera Adedoyin's house. There was no case for us to settle for it at any time. At all, no? None. For these past six weeks we were here working, 
It was uh, fun. I want to thank God for letting us knew what he was. In fact, God knows all things. He brought in Mama as the mother of the house. He brought me in as a architect, a designer who will help improve the house from the state it was before. It was warm. It was uh, a, a case of the head being form, um, being void without form. The house was void. It hadn't any kind of form. It was void. But we needed to restructure and turn it to what it is now. God brought us in. He brought in Iyobo as a comedian who kept the people active online. They wanted to come on to see what he would give to them every day. He was coming up with any kind of phone that would keep the house lively. There was no dull moment when you have Iyobo around. Amen. We have um, Dosa Blessing, who was showcasing what we were doing to the world. It's a full set, it's a, it's a squad. Nobody was doing any person, another person's work. We all had our work to do. Hallelujah. And he gave us good workers. He gave us workers who we could talk to. When we say it's not good like this, do it this way, they never argue with us. They saw reason with what we were doing. Even when they when it was not convenient with them, for them and with them, they just have to succumb. To God be all the glory. Amen. Amen. In this house, we have a standard boho. We two we two um one point one thousand five hundred liter water tank and stanchion well positioned. Like Mama said. We have solar system there. Any amenity, whatever it is that they will need, they are all in there. From the support of the well meaning Nigerians, both home and in the house for her. Praise the Lord. Inside that house, they will not need to be washing with their hand again. Inside that house, they will not need to be using mortar to pound again. Inside that house, their clothes will not be on the floor. Inside that house, they will not need to bring in mats. There, is, there, there are beds. Every room is in suit. Every, every room is in, in suit. Inside our house, if you, if you are privileged to go in, you will not, if you go in with sweat, you will come your body dry. You know what I'm trying to say. The cooling system there is standard. Praise the Lord. Indeed, the Bible says that if we are not weary in well doing, the Lord who we serve, we definitely reward us. It's a time of reward for Mama Vera Adedoy. Yeah. Once again, we want to welcome you all to this great occasion. Please, it's time to rejoice. It's time to be happy. The Lord, you know, my pastor said, if God does anything for your neighbor, know that it's in your neighborhood. It will soon become your turn. Yeah, Hallelujah. It is the turn of each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Welcome and have a great time in Jesus' name. Welcome to Windows of Villa. Bless you. Goodness be your portion. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can see that the committee members are looking very gorgeous. These clothes were made for us from the United States of America. Uh, our one cup on all day. One o'clock for Mrs. Messi Agawa from the United States of America. It's a make we wear around like this with a couple covers. So now she bring the money. Oh, be our money. Show the covers. <laughs> now so it be. If you water, you will be watered. So we are not surprised. You can see a giant cake in front of that house. It was pre it's presented by a brother from Germany. Sylvester Ogbodu. He, he called us last week and said he needs a giant cake to commemorate the event. the event. All the caterers you are seeing here today, the chairman of what is community? Awoneka community, aka Sansamoni, or aka ATM Machine, gave us the cow. Put your hands together. And a brother from Germany gave us two bags of rice. And sisters started spending money for all the indigrants. We don't call it ingredients, we call it indigrants that we used to cook. So everything you see here today, 
they are all from your people and my people. We did spend our cupboard to buy a bottle of water. Somebody gave us almost 40 packs of bottled water. Another person gave us 30 packs of bottled water. All the drinks are all donated by sons and daughters of the new kingdom. As you see this house, this house is a testimony. Don't live here today without connecting to this house. If I were you, I will go to that gate. A lady from Jenny said, Mama, it's time for me to marry. And how much is the gate to Sister Verosa's? I told her 500000 as she sent the money. So whoever has sold into this house, Jehovah will sow good things into their lives. Don't commit any sin, no. our cup are not there yet. Everything you see us do is a gift from Edo Kingdom. And our people all over, from diaspora, from Africa, and from Nigeria. Oba talk babe. Yes, the instruments we are using, we have a colossus in the land. His name is Pastor Vincent Iriogbe, aka Online. You know, he's the beginning and the ending of sound. He's the beginning and the ending of sound. Odogu one, So he called us. He said, Chairman, don't worry. I never come to the debut. And I'm go pack all the instruments. Come here. So his instruments are here, free of charge. So put them together for this group. We show love. It's just love. All the associations, all the groups, everybody that came, God will bless you. you so are, today you have more to eat and drink. Don't overfeed yourself. Because the creature has to to start serving you. Eat what you know how to eat. Not eat what you don't know. There is food in the house. Provided by sons and daughters of the new kingdom in Benin and in diaspora. I won't fail to mention the lady of songs, Esther Edokai. She came here and started crying that it was her own song that sustained her when she was suffering. She sang that song. She gave us one million naira to plaster this house. The husband, Destiny Ibagwa, bought all these chairs that are in the panel. JJ Parry, 24 Beats, the Sons of the Legion, uh, many, many people. The list is endless. By the grace of God, we are going to do a, a write-up on Antivero's house. This house to me, eh, has proved to me that God is closer to you than the bread you bring. And there is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. Sing it with me, you know, stand up. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdue. Hey, I have tasted of your love, Jesus. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty mover, my lover. Oh, your money. Let's sing it together one more time. Let's go there. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. Why the keep on this list? There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdo. Hey, I have said the love your love, Jesus. I have seen your mighty walls. Mighty move on my love, oh your mighty one. Wave your hand and just say thank you, Jesus. If you are keen to this testimony, just wave your hand. Give God all the praise. If you've been get Babella before, make you repair on. Because this one a pure testimony. Undiluted, pure and holy. We are singing that song one more time as we wave our hands. There is nothing you cannot do. So you can do your own. But there is nothing you cannot do. I have faith that of your love. Jesus, I have seen your mighty one. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise! I beg, give a clap for these committee members. I beg, give a clap for them. If you clap for them. If you look, just looking at them alone, you wish to be one of them. I tell you. In fact, uh, anyway, one. What Please, these people they are so they are so rare. It is very rare to see people combination like this. 
For those of you now, we not clap for them. I beg, we they, we they look on our faces. So, may not clap for them again. I beg. All right, that was a wonderful speech given by our EIB and uh, the chairman of this occasion and the chairman of the planning and the operation complete, Sister Vero Adidunye's house. You can see the excitement all over them. You can see them being joyful because the joy of the Lord has been their strength. And that is why we can see that they are not faking it. They are showing what they truly got. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you know you are the next in line to become a landlady and a landlord, can you celebrate Jesus in your life? You know, there are some miracles that are sweatless miracles. You don't need to sweat for it before it comes. This one is a sweatless miracle for Vero Adetoni. May the Lord raise men to work for you while it will be sweatless for you. Can I get an amen in this place? Ladies and gentlemen, look at your neighbor with this understanding. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you are welcome. If your neighbor is beautiful, say, neighbor, you are beautiful. You are beautiful like Adetoni's testimony. Now, if you love your neighbor, give your neighbor a high five. You know the Bible says in the book of Romans 16, 16, it says, I look on another with holy keys. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Mwah. Oh, I love that. You love your neighbor indeed. I like that. Now, if you know you love your neighbor, give your neighbor your ATM card and your pin. Not many people give ATM and card, don't they build that so? Now, not give my neighbor. Yeah, all of our be on my video now. Where worry? My co there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please, who wants um, the celebrants, Sister Vera, they do you to get ready for our performance. Please, while she is getting ready, I have been told, I was given an information that there is a very, very powerful job lucration somewhere for somebody is an opportunity. Please, in case you are here for your son or your daughter who is an applicant, please, you're going to meet me after the close of this occasion today. It's a very, very lucrative job, and the salary for the job is 250,000 Naira monthly. Please, if you are interested, let us know after the close of this event. The nature of the job, they say that they look for a good line of Obazu. So, if you are interested, I better not meet me. They say, Line of Wendy Obazu, not to the team, you need to go to the bar farm. And now we stand, the ladies and gentlemen. You know, they used to say something that. Uh, they say a friend to a rich man is not a rich man, not truth. Not truth say a friend to a rich man, not be rich man. And they say a friend to a rich man, not be rich man. But why be say a friend to a thief, not thief? Why be like that? What did poor man do now? Ladies and gentlemen, please, I want to see all those that will be minding the instrument for Mama Vero Adetunyi because we are going to be observing our performance right about now. There is one song she sang there. Oh, I like that song that time. You bow it, bow it. I'm gonna know that song. If you know this song, I better sing out before she comes out. I bet who know I make one take make you sing out. Bro, she know this song. Epa we oh god no, if I bet who know that song, we'll give the person five key. No, I don't swear. Don't put me for work. If I were to swear, I'm not fine. I'm not even one. I'm not here. Let me call Ben. Okay. Let's the director. Benjamin. Let me call him the director. Please, instrumentalist, let's get let's get involved with the instrument, please. Thank you. Before the celebrant gets here, everyone would be here. I do have test. So let us have a please, ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation. Please, with a standing ovation, join me as we receive the only one and only celebrity, a woman who has proven to us that God indeed is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Lord has truly rewarded his own daughter and she is alive to witness the diligence of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless her. May the Lord bless everyone. Over to Mama Vero Adetoni. Hallelujah. Wa wese o. Wa wese. Epo 
o poja no ni eta wa wa da ha wo gwin da iwe unu da no rise against you people for helping me unu ni ma gwe ere ni jesus o sa ta ni ere o kan da je o wa we se re gbe me o wa we se o amen amen jesus o ene o Jesus no
Mama Vero, no one grief for anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love this woman of God, Mama Vero Adetonyi, can you give her a round of applause, please? You know, that performance was just too exceptional. We have not seen this time for quite some time. And Mama Vero has taken us back to another dimension. I will pray God to bless her in Jesus' name. And all of us will live to enjoy the gifts God has deposited in her. In this music ministry thank you very much um ladies and gentlemen without wasting time um we have a lot of ministers of the gospel that are going to be engaging this page students they're going to be blessing us with different uh, ministration of theirs but right about now the bible says something in the book of romans it says give what is due them unto them Therefore, give honor to who honor is due, give regards to who regards is due, and give our colleagues to whom that which our colleague is due. At this point in time, at this thing we guess, the committee, they've come together and said, it is our time, or at this point in the occasion, we shall be making recognition of the instruments, the laborers that the Lord used in bringing this mission to reality. And we are going to be recognizing the builders. I'm going to be acknowledging their official. Oh, you see this committee people again, they don't start. If you say no, but they did, I will say they be courtes. And anyway, they are courtes for Christ. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's um, go through and introduce all of our builders, the people whom the Lord used as instruments. In. All right, Mama said we should jump and move to dedication. Please, the builders, please, will be coming out to you according to our charity. Yeah, she said I should jump and I am ready to jump. <laughs> um, please, let's proceed now to our item number 12. We're going to be skipping like three of our events on the list. Then we shall move to item number 12. If you are with the list, Okay, please, I've been told right now that um, we have the esteemed presence of our chief, our very high and adorable chief, Owen Obaseki. May we jam my hands together for chief Owen Obaseki, a round of applause for him. That was a father in philanthropy, a man of law. Thank you very much for coming through. All you guys coming in majestically during one of our performances, we say thank you for coming. And we love your outlook and your outfit. The Lord bless you for coming. And um, Chief Owen, God bless you once again for coming. You've been here since. We appreciate you for staying with us for this time. I remember one of the occasions I anchored a few times ago. Chief Owen Obaseki was actually the chairman of that event. And after all I said, all I did, and Chief Owen looked at me and he said, MC Welibaba, you have done well. I'm pleased and impressed. Said MC Welibaba, can you come closer? I wanted to give you money, but I have no cash with me. I fell.